Joe Rogan, whatever you think of him, is one of the most influential figures in media. And it's interesting because he attracts a very different audience in the sense that they're not, and I know people will disagree with this, they're not one partisan group. It's actually very ideologically diverse within parameters. I, it definitely tilts conservative, um, but I think it's a lot of people who think of themselves as kind of above politics or they don't keep up that much with politics, but they kind of engage here and there. Um, and then of course you do have people who came to know him during kind of the anti-vax stuff, which was terribly damaging as I've spoken about. Um, and they're more far right and all that type of stuff. But he's had a massive audience for a long time and he's had or expressed very, very left-wing views, very right-wing views. And so I do think a lot of his audience is kind of just all over the place. And so I think that sets up a situation where when he expresses views, they matter because they could sway people because they're not already dug way down into their partisan hole. This story isn't so much that, <laughs> but it is good to see, uh, sorry, Joe, Joe Rogan being willing to criticize Trump and accurately identify how Trump is kind of a child in an adult's body. Um, and maybe, I don't think he goes this far, but um, maybe having an, a child in an adult's body isn't the person we should have as president. So I think it's a good thing anytime you see Joe Rogan uh, willing to tell his audience that, look, I talk a lot about the bad stuff on the left, but Donald Trump's a bozo. So that's why we're covering this. Mostly that was just for fun because uh, seeing two people who aren't typically, I don't know so much about Tom Segura, but Joe Rogan, who has been more right wing in recent uh, months, recent years, seeing him being willing to call out Trump is a good, good feeling. So here's that moment. And like I said, he has Tom Segura, who's a comedian on his show, who kind of sparks the conversation around Trump's uh, incompetency. I think, that, I think that is incredible about that guy is that, you know, I'm saying even when you when you watch him as president, he was full of fucking energy. Full of it. Every day. And they say he slept for like four hours a night. He's one of those people. He's on Adderall. God. Do you think he's on Adderall? Yes, I do. Be only because there were multiple people who used to work on The Apprentice that were like, he was fucking gassed up for shoots. Really? Yeah, because he has trouble reading. He doesn't, he, 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 would he would struggle to read prompter or script when he was just, uh, let's say, sober. Uh huh. So they would give him that and he would dial in more on reading. Because he gets, he gets very bored, they said. You know, he, gets, yeah. he, would, he would get bored at the CIA briefing in the mornings. He was like, I don't want to read that. There's a daily briefing you get as president. He's like, you fucking read it. And then tell me, and if it's bored, the, so they would have to make it more engaging for him because he would just I heard tap that they out. would put his name in briefings mm -hmm. multiple times to keep him interested. And then <laughs> Kushner, you know, his son-in-law, yeah. said that he came up with a formula uh, to keep him engaged. Which Kushner was, did? Yes, because, you know, he obviously was close to him and knew him well, and the formula was, um, like, two good, one bad. So if they were going to give him bad oh. news... They could go, you start with some good news. So they go, this is going well. Everybody's thrilled with you about this. Here's a bad thing. Also, people love you for this. <laughs> like, so that's how you, that's how they would tell them bad news. They that's couldn't just fun. go, here's a bunch of bad of news. Of course. Yeah. He's a man baby. He's a fucking toddler. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's a toddler. So it's true. I mean, he really was a toddler in an adult's body. And then smart in many ways. I, I'm not gonna be dishonest and tell you he doesn't have huge strengths clearly he's amazing at marketing he's able to brand himself as all of these things when he's really not as someone who could run a country and people would believe that when he's really not um but i'm happy to see and i do think there's a shift going on where even conservatives are like nah let's move on now who they're gonna pick and replace someone like ron sanders is not good it's horrible ah, i'm scared of that but i am excited to close the chapter on Donald Trump. And uh, I think moments like this are a part of that kind of movement. But Rogan has always been more willing to criticize Trump than an actual like partisan Republican type person. But I think I was getting concerned that he was going to completely want to play nice with the right wingers now that he had cultivated kind of a larger, more right wing audience. But no, I think he does engage with politics, even though people hate this, like a more regular guy who just kind of gets tugged in either direction based on who's in front of him, based on what media he's exposed to. And so I think Rogan needs to do a better job 
of going to the correct sources, checking, verifying the information he's getting and, and doing some more work beforehand so he doesn't spread misinformation on his platform. Uh, but more moments, even if it's just funny stuff we can laugh at like this, I, ha I think helps change the minds of his audience a little bit, even if it's just through laughing at Trump.